What's up guys? We'll go back to we'll go back to another video. And this video, guys, I honestly never thought I'll ever make. So I recently ran into the guy that purchased my E92 M3 like three years ago. I don't know if it's two years ago, three years ago, but he bought my E92 M3, the one that I completely built from the ground up, and I was like, oh my god. I ran into him at pick a pole, strange enough, and uh, yeah, he was like, hey bro, um, um, do you want to see the car? I actually have it outside right now, and I was like, and you know, the craziest thing with me is I had no contact with this guy whatsoever for the longest time, and the fact that he told me the car is still running, it's still driving, and it's functioning, and everything is good with that car, and he wants to sell it again, I was just so ecstatic, guys. As of right now, financially, um, I spent a lot of money, obviously, as you guys know, on the 335 IS. I already have an E92 chassis, but this guy came out of nowhere with the car that really honestly changed my life, and I was like, you know what, like, I mean, honestly, I, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to make it work. I wanna get this car. But yeah, guys, I'm not lying. I actually went outside to go look at the car first. He had to go pick off a couple more parts off a couple other cars. I was pretty much already just super happy. I was like, I don't even care about getting any more parts from here. I just want to go see my car. I, I wanted to see that E92 M3 that I had to sell to make things happen and, th and ends me on this channel. I mean, that's the thing of being a car YouTuber. No one knows. Unless you're balling, which I'm not. I don't come from a family with a bunch of money. You have to sell your bills to start something new on the channel. There's no other way. Unless you want to be like a vlog channel or not. And that's not, you know, I kind of like the whole vlog thing, but at the same time, I, I really enjoy building cars and experiencing different cars. Like, that's my thing. And after building the E92 M3, I don't know if I ever told you guys but me and Jonathan the day we sold that car we literally sat in that room over there on my living room and we were literally contemplating our entire lives like we just spent like months building this car and we both just sat there like wow we worked so hard like shout out to my boy Jonathan as well we worked so hard to make this car you know perfect driving everything you guys know it had the red interior the manual we actually converted it to a, like having a navigation system we put an Aza steering wheel in there um yeah again the red interior was so sick it was the coupe we completely rebuilt the whole exterior of the car ended up painting it um like a San Marino blue or something like that like a super sick I think it was the F80 M3 blue color so that's super 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 clean the car just came out absolutely amazing so when he told me it's right outside and he only wants thirteen thousand dollars of this current economy i was like in three years um the market has gone up not down so let me go check this thing out now there were so many things going through my head when i actually went outside to look at that car i was like we have too many builds right now. We have the E36 M3, we have the E92 335 IS, we have the truck, we have my wife's car, and we have my car. I don't really have the space nor the time to get another build on this channel, uh, but I, I really wanted that car. That car really changed my life entirely. That's the car that got me into YouTube, like got me, that like, 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 took off my channel to the point where I was able to do it full time, really. So I was just gonna figure out a way to make it work. But here is when my mood completely changed, unfortunately. I went outside to go look at the car, and from a distance, I know it's that the hood was wrapped and I was like okay all right maybe you don't like the, the the blue color or whatever and then I also noticed walking up uh when I you know walked around the car from a distance because I was like seeing it from when I got out of here and then I walked around like right over here and I saw it from the back from a distance and I noticed that the rear bumper something else is going on with that as well so when I actually walked up close to the car I noticed that the rear bumper the paint was absolutely like fading really 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 badly on the front bumper the, the the carbon fiber fins that I had on there were ripped off the bumper itself had so much rock chips and big pieces of paint missing all over the place the hood was wrapped in a not so good way but I mean it's it's it is what it is it got wrapped I'm assuming to cover up something else which is apparently the paint that all ended up chipping off and things like that and he accidentally left the tool in there or something and then it actually damaged the hood even further um so he just wrapped over the hood i noticed that the bumper was falling off the car and it was held on by like strings and stuff the side skirt was like falling off the car the interior seats were all ripped up and everything and i was just like oh man like what happened like it was like two three years i perfected this car and i saw it for the first time in a very long time and I was like, what happened? There's obviously, the interior was all torn up. The Alcantara steering wheel did show the wear of any Alcantara steering wheel would have if you don't take proper care of it. And honestly, guys, I don't entirely blame the, 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 the owner that bought this car. I looked at the odometer, it had 153,000 miles. That is a job well done on our end. I, th I, I just feel super happy on the fact that we built a car when it had 100K miles and ended up selling it at 100K miles. And this guy put on 53,000 roughly miles on the car since we sold it to him. So that really 
really comes to show you guys that the cars we build on this channel, we really want to perfect them. And once he perfected this one, this was still had another 53,000 miles put on it. And he actually did the rod bearings again on the car. And it looks like it's going to be going off to another owner. Uh, probably somebody else is going to be buttoning up all the little things all over again. But he tried to do his best to perfect this car. He did the rod bearings, he did the actuators, he did all these other maintenance, the huge maintenance things to make this thing run and drive perfectly. It sounded amazing once he actually started the car up. But I think for him, he started giving up on the car once the paint started pretty much chipping in all directions. I don't know what happened. I think the clear coat wasn't thick enough. I normally take my car to the same guy every single time to paint all my cars. And I've noticed the paint progressively get better, but I never thought it's gonna be that bad that after two or three years of putting around 50,000 miles on it, the paint literally like ripped off as if it was wrapped. Like it's crazy. The doors looked fine. The roof was fine. Um, the trunk was fine, but the rear bumper, I guess maybe the heat from the exhaust, because yeah, I think he has a straight pipe right now. It melted or like something with the paint. The whole rear bumper was just like completely color distorted. The front bumper was ripped off. That was a mistake. He hit a curb and then he backed off the curb and then like it ripped off the front bumper. So it broke all the tabs and whatnot. I'm assuming it broke the carbon fiber fins and all that stuff. The hood was also his mistake. But in terms of the, the, the major thing with the car, the fact that the the paint was peeling everywhere, which is a super, super, super unfortunate event that I had to see. I was like, oh man, that's really, really, really sucks. The interior, unfortunately, when those seats are ripped, guys, those seats cost a lot of money to either rebuild or get new ones. The red interior is very, very, very sought out for, and it was not something I wanted to go ahead and get again. So for $13,000, honestly, it's an amazing car. It absolutely, it is an amazing car, but I actually did the math and see how much it would be to get a new bumper because it was ripped off, the hood, the fenders because the tabs are broken on both of them. The side skirt uh, tabs or bracket, whatever, is like it's like broken off as well. But getting the rear bumper painted, get the whole car painted, to be honest, getting the, you know, the front seats, the steering wheel, all that stuff, either reconditioned, rebuilt, or whatever. Doing the math and everything, it would have cost me upwards again about like honestly $20,000, especially with a fresh new paint job. And this is probably taking it to the exact same guy, which I probably should to get a whole fresh paint job. I honestly was just super disappointed in myself that, uh, that the, the, the paint came down to be that way. I mean, he loves the car. He said the car treated him absolutely amazingly. It was just the paint and that I didn't do myself. I actually took it to a shop and I'm just, I'm just really upset to see that, I, you know, we spent a lot of money on that. We actually, you guys helped me um, be able to pay for that paint job as well because I didn't have the money at the time. You guys know I'm super broke at the time. So yeah, just seeing that car in the current condition that it's in, I'm happy that it was still running to this day and it's still running very, very, very strong. Unhappy to see the condition of how the car ended up being. But let me know down below, guys. I really just honestly wanted to make this video to kind of like, just, just like bring back this channel. Do you guys want me to build a car that's completely junked out? Possibly even this E92 M3 again on this channel? Oh, do you guys prefer me getting like cars like the 335 IS, slight damage, fixing all that up, modifying it? Or like my wife's car, we just picked it up just to modify it and daily it so that we can do those kind of builds. Or do you guys actually prefer the way the, three, the E92 and 3 was where every single airbag was deployed, the rear end was hit, the side was hit, the front was hit, the undercarriage was damaged. The whole car, honestly, was only good for parts when we bought it. But we ended up saving that car and it honestly drove into the 53,000 miles on top of the miles that we put on the car, which is just insane to see that that car that was gonna be literally just tin can and smash is still driving till today and it's performing really, really, really well. So do you guys wanna see another car like that on this channel or do you guys wanna see that one in particular again being rebuilt on this channel? Let me know down below. I don't think the best idea was to get that car to rebuild again, but possibly maybe another E92 M3 or maybe something else like an E39 M5. When you guys mentioned that, yes, I read the comments, maybe an E60 M5, uh, something that, uh, you know, that doesn't actually have a bad engine or transmission and everything else. That one that we got was honestly, the person screwed me over. Like, I mean, that's, that's a life lesson that I learned um, to not just trust everyone blindly. I should have had the car checked by a friend or whatever that knew what he was doing. But I decided for the money, because it was a clean title, I'm gonna get it anyways. The worst comes to worst, I'll figure out a way to sell it for parts or something, because I had the title on hand. It wasn't from Copart. But any, anyway, we're not gonna talk about you know failures, because we only had one failure on this channel, I think. Yeah, which was the E60 M5. We just couldn't save it because it was too much money at that time for me. But yeah, guys, that does conclude the video. It is pretty much the New Year's, guys. It's almost gonna be 2022. I am so stoked for the new year. I am on the lookout for my own garage. So you guys can see right now, the Tesla's not in the garage. I'm actually in the garage, so I'm super happy. I actually use this space if I wanted to today. 
but normally that's not the case. My dad loves parking his Tesla in here. I don't blame him. He worked super hard to get that car and he wants it to be protected. My mom finally got her first BMW. I believe this is a 2017 or 2016 X1 and she absolutely loves it the way it drives, the way it handles. Honestly guys, I actually really like this car as a daily as well. It's actually a really nice car. It has a bunch of storage space. So congrats to my mother, congrats to my father. I'm really happy for the both of them. But yeah, that leaves me, unfortunately me, with no garage space because I can't leave the cars outside. I can't get big projects in here and take it apart like the E92. When I had the E92 M3, this whole garage was mine. Literally, my parents had to park the cars outside. I had the whole garage for two, three months. Shout out to my parents for allowing me to have this whole entire garage because the car was like, literally, it couldn't move and all the parts were on one side of the garage and the car was dismantled on another. Yeah, guys, I'm hoping for 2022, early 2022, should give, give you guys a hint about the big news, hopefully that's coming soon. We should be either getting a shop or some other way uh, to record our videos in a space that's ours and then we can, you know, do whatever we want, whenever we want. I feel like this should be way more ideal. So if you guys are excited to hear that news in the upcoming future, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, guys, let me know, do you guys want to see a tin can being rebuilt to something that's dry? Drivable, or do you guys want to see me pick up some sick cars and then modify it? Or do you guys want to see me pick up a tin can, rebuild it, then modify it? Let me know down below. But yeah, more news on that coming soon. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.